Hello YouTubers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to rip your Doctor Who DVDs and Blu-rays to MP4. Now, first off I'll say if you already know how to do this, or if you're not interested, well why the hell are you watching this video in the first place? So, yeah. But um, this can be useful for several reasons. One is it's good just to have a backup of them, and two, it means that you can basically play them on any device that you fancy, whether it's on a phone, a tablet, laptop, or, which is what I do, just stick them on a USB drive or a hard drive and just connect it to a USB port in your TV and just watch them that way. That means you can copy a lot onto them and, yeah, it, it, it's just good for backup. So, what you'll need for this is one... If you're doing uh, Blu-rays, then you'll need a Blu-ray drive. If you're just doing DVDs, then, you know, any DVD drive will do, or any Blu-ray drive doesn't really matter for this. But if you are doing Blu-rays, you will obviously need a Blu-ray drive. I feel the need to mention this because there are tons of people out there who are surprised when they get the Got2 collection box set and they try and play them on their PC and they find that it doesn't work because they're trying to use a DVD drive. The easiest way to find out if you've got a Blu-ray drive is normally one, it has the Blu-ray logo on the front and two, even if it doesn't, it'll have two lasers on there. It'll have a blue one and a red one. But anyway, so in terms of software, again, everything I'm showing you today is completely free so it doesn't cost any money. So this is the software I use, which is Make MKV, which uh, you can download from their website for free, and basically it gives you a 30-day free trial, but since it's in beta, and it's been in beta, by the way, for years, it's, uh, but since it is in beta, basically what you can do is head over to this website, and if I, if I just uh, click back, you can see, just typing Make MKV Activation Key, and basically, this is updated um, every time it becomes outdated by Make MKV, and the forum is pretty good if you've got any problems. But uh, this key here is basically to completely unlock the software to get rid of the free trial stuff and that, and you just update that key every time that it needs to be. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to sh show you to do today is how to rip... Um, Evil of the Daleks, which I'm doing today. I've already done it before, but uh, here we go. You can see here that it's popped up in the disk drive, so I just have to click on that. And I'm also going to show you, because this is very useful if you want the 16x9 animation, but you also want it to be in black and white, because that is something that I've shown in previous reviews, where unfortunately they crop it, which is really irritating. So this is also a way to get it in 16x9 but also in black and white. So what it's basically doing at the minute is it's basically just, as you can see, it's popping up every single file on the disc. So this is going to be every episode on the disc, but it's also going to show every single special feature and that on there as well. And you can see on Evil of the Daleks, there's quite a lot of files on here. Um, so yeah, there's quite a lot of files on this disc and you can select and deselect what files you want. So for example, if you only want to rip one of the files, then you can just select one of them. I'm just going to select one file to just demonstrate, otherwise this will take a while to do. But yeah, you can just literally select whatever file you want, although I'd recommend if you're planning on ripping them and getting all the special features, which is what I normally do, just do it all at once and then just delete the files thereafter that you're not interested in. Also, uh, you can select subtitles or deselect subtitles that you want, as well as different audio tracks. So, for example, if you want the commentaries on there, that uh, can be done as well. So, that's bas basically all of that. And just by clicking here, you can select where you want the file uh, to go. So, in this case, I'm just going to call it... Uh, Got to evil test. I'm just gonna call it that, and that's basically where the file is going to be saved to. And it also gives you the software also gives you a warning if you don't have enough space in order to rip it. But after you've done that, just click the button, and then it'll basically just start ripping the disc. So 
while I let that uh, basically get on with that because these can take a while um, not ridiculously long but you know sometimes they take mm, about half an hour sometimes 45 minutes it just depends how much content is on the disc and you gotta remember it's not like copying from a USB drive the disc is you can see here going at 8.6 megabits a second looks like doing too badly the other piece of software that you will need is this it's called handbrake so handbrake if I just sure you can get it from anywhere so handbrake is again just a free piece of open software it's being updated several times over and it's now at its simplest basically to use and it's good for basically converting files into other file types because make mkv while it does rip the disk it is ripping them basically completely uncompressed which for some people that is great you want at the complete uncompression rate the only problem with this is is that you're basically i mean the doc 2 blu-rays for example most of them are bd50 discs which are 50 gigabyte blu-ray discs which means Unless you uh, are only planning on ripping a few, or you've got an incredible amount of storage, you are going to run out of storage pretty quickly, which is another reason why to basically convert them to MP4, which compresses the file size. Although, to be honest, like you will not rec you will not generally see a difference, particularly like with the animations. Like I generally don't see a difference with the animations. So, yeah, and also with the standard def content as well you don't generally see a difference now the process i'm doing here can also be done uh, if you have a 4k blue blu-ray drive but you have to have one that is capable of ripping 4k blu-rays which is another thing i'll go on to another time but uh, you can do this with any blu-ray i've been doing it for years and it's just a good way to have your collection also it means that if you don't say want to pay for britbox hey this is an option here that you can use so yeah now while that basically rips far I'm just gonna cut to when it's done okay so let's have a check on that and as you can see it's completed that so I can now just eject that disk and uh, show you what to do next so here we have the file which let's see what is uh, what episode is this so this appears to be, yeah, episode two, animated. So all you can do with this is just drag and drop that across to Handbrake. You can also do it that way by opening a source. But uh, here we are. So obviously, if you want, you can just be done at that stage if you want. But if you want to convert it to MP4 or do what you can do here. So you can see a tab here called filters and there's a nice little checkbox here called grayscale you tick that when and as you can see in the source preview it is now grayscale so basically with this that you can basically now have it grayscale you can also select what format you want it to be I just stick to mp4 because it generally you know also has the most compatibility with essentially everything now a couple of problems you may have is if for example uh, you drag across one of the Doctor Who documentaries where it switches between 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 so if it's a documentary like switches between two aspect ratios what what it might what it might do is uh, handbrake might automatically try and crop it to to just 4 by 3 so if that's an issue you can go into the dimensions here click on custom and then you can basically uncrop it again to basically be 16 by 9 or if you want you can crop it to 4 by 3 so that's something useful particularly for the documentaries because you'll be switching between 16 by 9 interviews and then 4 by 3 reference footage and sometimes it'll crop it automatically but with this you can stop that uh, from happening so there's just one more thing to go for so up here we've got some nice lovely presets now for me if it's 
a DVD or Blu-ray, I just set it to very fast 1080p 30. And the reason I set it that is, I find that generally the file sizes are st are pretty small, but also it's still got a good enough bitrate and good enough pic and pretty good picture quality that you wouldn't notice. Now, obviously, there are very many settings in that 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 you could go th for. For example, if you're wanting it to be compatible with a particular device, then you've got literally all the different devices here that it, you can basically have it be compatible with. Or if you're wanting to optimize it for YouTube, Discord, whatever, you've got them here as well. But again, like for DVDs and Blu-rays, I personally just set it to 1080, 1080p 30 very fast now. That doesn't mean that it's going to upconvert anything. That just means that that is the maximum file size it will output as. So if you're putting in a DVD that, if it's a PAL DVD, it's going to be 576. It's still going to output it as that. It's not going to upscale it. This software does not upscale anything. Now, if you want to completely customize it, you can go in here. And this is what you used to have to do where... You basically um, control the quality and everything manually. But anyway, what you would do after that is click on the browse button and you would save it as Evil of the Daleks episode 2 and I would just call this black and white uh, 16 by 9 because you can't use uh, decimal places on file night sizes mp4 and what I would do is click save but I'm not going to since I've already done it and then you'll just start to encode and then you can also drag more across while one is encoding and add them to queue uh, for example I have got a queue here of 21 files right here so if I just show you the queue these are these are all of uh, the rips that that I've done and these are all the ones that are yet to do and you can also have it to basically put your machine to sleep or shut it down or hibernate or whatever once it is done encoding. By the way after that so you can see here all oh, these are um, all the Doctor Who uncompressed rips here's the Blu-ray box sex ripped but here's Evil of the Daleks Blu-ray and the way I do it you know you can do these any way you like if you want to label them differently set them out differently if you're not bothered about special features doesn't matter but here we are um, and if I just open up uh, this file you can see here you've got the episodes as well I should also uh, I'll quickly go over how to get uh, the PDFs off uh, the blu-ray or the DVDs this is the same for either now the software and that is also available for Mac if you're interested. Linux, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but it is both software is available for Mac. So anyway, to get the PDFs, what you need to do is right click on this, click open. And uh, basically if this had PDFs, it would be in here, but this disc doesn't have any PDFs, but if they were, they would be in here. And with those, you can literally just copy and paste them across but um, yeah, other than that, that is it. That is how to rip your Got2 DVDs and Blu-rays. And basically, you can just watch them now on essentially any device. It's also pretty good that um, if you wanted, rather than paying for something like BritBox, you know, you can just have them or, you know, you could set them up on your own server if you wanted to or just copy them to other devices because the file sizes are pretty small. For example, um... I can actually show you here in a direct comparison. So let's get the two out. And oh yeah. So if I just go back to where it was, so Doctor Who Rip DDs, you can see how many I have got in here, which is an awful lot. This is an awful lot of them. You can see I just do them alphabetically, but Evil of the Daleks. Uh this is Call Animation Disc 2. So you can see here, this is episode 2. Before it's compressed, this one episode is 4.29 gigabytes. And when it's converted to MP4, 
you can see it's only 213 megabytes so uh, what we can do is we can in fact I, I'll open them I'll open them both up so we can see a direct comparison between the two of them so let's get it to yeah four four minutes 32 and we'll open up another one so let's put them up so we're at 4 minutes 32 just to show where is it 4 minutes 31 30. 3 come on get it to 32 uh, whatever that will be close enough that will be close enough people so you can see here like that is the difference so the one on the left is the compressed and the one on the right is the uncompressed or is it the other way round? can you actually tell because uh, I'd be very surprised especially watching this on YouTube you probably won't be able to tell the difference myself looking at it right now I can't uh, tell the difference and I'm looking at these literally side by side there we go um, like seriously that there, there we are but uh, there's one more thing I will mention as well just before we go and that's under audio so under this you can select what audio track that you want whether you want it to be surround sound or anything else you can also add in audio tracks as well so if you want the commentaries to be in you can add them in and that in here and you can mix it down to mono if you want it left only right only but that's a couple of other things but yeah essentially uh, I think I've gone over basically everything that I can with this so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was uh, informative to you who out there and uh, yeah thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye bye